The clerk will read the article of impeachment. <clears throat> Article 1, incitement of an insurrection. The con Senator will be in order. The Constitution provides that the House of Representatives shall have the sole power of impeachment and that the President shall be removed from office on impeachment for and conviction of treason, bribery, or other high crimes and misdemeanors. Further, Section 3 of the 14th Amendment to the Constitution prohibits any person who has engaged in insurrection or rebellion against the United States from holding any office under the United States. In his conduct while President of the United States and in violation of his constitutional oath, faithfully to execute the office of the President of the United States and to the best of his ability, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States and in violation of his constitutional duty to take care that the laws be faithfully executed Donald John Trump engaged in high crimes and misdemeanors by inciting violence against the government of the United States in that on January 6, 2021, pursuant to the 12th Amendment to the Constitution of the United States, the Vice President of the United States, the House of Representatives, and the Senate met at the United States Capitol for a joint session of Congress to count the votes of the Electoral College. In the months preceding the joint session, President Trump repeatedly issued false statements asserting that the presidential election results were the product of widespread fraud and should not be accepted by the American people or certified by state or federal officials. Shortly before the joint session commenced, President Trump addressed a crowd at the Ellipse in Washington, D.C. There he reiterated false claims that we, won't, we won this election and we won it by a landslide. He also willfully made statements that in context encouraged and foreseeably resulted in lawless action at the Capitol, such as, if you don't fight like hell, you're not going to have a country anymore. Thus incited by President Trump, members of the crowd he had addressed in an attempt to, among other objectives, interfere with the joint session's solemn constitutional duty to certify the results of the 2020 presidential election, unlawfully breached and vandalized the Capitol, injured and killed law enforcement personnel, menaced members of Congress, the Vice President, and congressional personnel, and engaged in other violent, deadly, destructive, and seditious acts. President Trump's conduct on January 6, 2021, followed his prior efforts to subvert and obstruct the certification of the results of the 2020 presidential election. Those prior efforts included a phone call on January 2, 2021, during which President Trump urged the Secretary of State of Georgia, Brad Raffensperger, to find enough votes to overturn the Georgia presidential election results and threatened Security Raffensperger if he failed to do so. In all this, President Trump gravely endangered the security of the United States and its institutions of government. He threatened the integrity of the democratic system, interfered with the peaceful transition of power, and imperiled a co imperiled a co-equal branch of government. He therefore betrayed his trust as president to the manifest injury of the people of the United States. Wherefore, Donald John Trump, by such conduct, has demonstrated that he will remain a threat to national security, democracy, and the Constitution if allowed to remain in office, and has acted in a manner grossly incompatible with self-government and the rule of law. Donald John Trump thus warrants impeachment and trial, removal from office, and disqualification to hold and enjoy any office of honor, trust, or profit under the United States. And demand that you, the said Donald John Trump, should be put to answer the accusations as set forth in this article 
and that such proceedings, examinations, trials, and judgments might be thereupon had as are agreeable to law and justice. <clears throat> Each senator, when his or her name is called, will stand in his or her place, and they'll vote guilty or not guilty as required by Rule 23 of the Senate Rules of Impeachment. Article 1, Section 3, Clause 6 of the Constitution, regarding the vote required for conviction on impeachment, provides that, quote, no person shall be convicted without the concurrence of two-thirds of the members present, close quote. <clears throat> the question is on the article of impeachment. Senators, how say you? Is the respondent Donald John Trump guilty or not guilty? A roll call vote is required, and the clerk will call the roll. Ms. Baldwin. Guilty. Ms. Baldwin, guilty. Mr. Barrasso. Mr. Barrasso, not guilty. Mr. Bennett. Mr. Bennett, guilty. Mrs. Blackburn. Not guilty. Mrs. Blackburn, not guilty. Mr. Blumenthal. No. Mr. Blumenthal, guilty. Mr. Blunt. Not guilty. Mr. Blunt, not guilty. Mr. Booker. Mr. Booker, guilty. Mr. Bozeman. Not guilty. Mr. Bozeman, not guilty. Mr. Braun. Not guilty. Mr. Braun, not guilty. Mr. Brown. Guilty. Mr. Brown, guilty. Mr. Burr. Both guilty. Mr. Burr, guilty. Ms. Cantwell. Ms. Cantwell, guilty. Mrs. Capito. Not guilty. Mrs. Capito, not guilty. Mr. Cardin. Guilty. Mr. Cardin, guilty. Mr. Carper. Guilty. Mr. Carper, guilty. Mr. Casey. Guilty. Mr. Casey, guilty. Mr. Cassidy. Mr. Cassidy, guilty. Ms. Collins. Guilty. Ms. Collins, guilty. Mr. Coons. Guilty. Mr. Coons, guilty. Mr. Cornyn. Not guilty. Mr. Cornyn, not guilty. Ms. Cortez Masto. Guilty. Ms. Cortez Masto. Guilty. Mr. Cotton. Not guilty. Mr. Cotton, not guilty. Mr. Kramer. Not guilty. Mr. Kramer, not guilty. Mr. Crapo. Not guilty. Mr. Crapo, not guilty. Mr. Cruz. Not guilty. Mr. Cruz, not guilty. Mr. Danes. Not guilty. Mr. Danes. Not guilty. Ms. Duckworth. Guilty. Ms. Duckworth. Guilty. Mr. Durbin. Guilty. Mr. Durbin. Guilty. Ms. Ernst. Not Ms. Ernst. Not guilty. Mrs. Feinstein. Guilty. Mrs. Feinstein. Guilty. Mrs. Fisher. Not guilty. Mrs. Fisher. Not guilty. Mrs. Gillibrand. Mrs. Gillibrand, guilty. Mr. Graham. Mr. Graham, not guilty. Mr. Grassley. Mr. Grassley, not guilty. Mr. Haggerty. Mr. Haggerty, not guilty. Ms. Hassan. Ms. Hassan, guilty. Mr. Hawley. Not Mr. Hawley, not guilty. Mr. Heinrich. Guilty. Mr. Heinrich, guilty. Mr. Hickenlooper. Guilty. Mr. Hickenlooper, 
guilty. Ms. Hirono. Ms. Hirono, guilty. Mr. Hoven. Mr. Hoven, not guilty. Mrs. Hyde Smith. Not guilty. Mrs. Hyde Smith, not guilty. Mr. Inhoff. Mr. Inhoff, not guilty. Mr. Johnson. Not guilty. Mr. Johnson, not guilty. Mr. Kane. Guilty. Mr. Kane, guilty. Mr. Kelly. Guilty. Mr. Kelly, guilty. Mr. Kennedy. Not guilty. Mr. Kennedy, not guilty. Mr. King. Guilty. Mr. King, guilty. Ms. Klobuchar. Ms. Klobuchar, guilty. Mr. Langford. Mr. Langford, not guilty. Mr. Leahy. Guilty. Mr. Leahy, guilty. Mr. Lee. Not guilty. Mr. Lee, not guilty. Mr. Lujan. Guilty. Mr. Lujan, guilty. Ms. Lummis. Not guilty. Ms. Lummis, not guilty. Mr. Manchin. Guilty. Mr. Manchin, guilty. Mr. Markey. Guilty. Mr. Markey, guilty. Mr. Marshall. Not guilty. Mr. Marshall, not guilty. Mr. McConnell. Not guilty. Mr. McConnell, not guilty. Mr. Menendez. Guilty. Mr. Menendez, guilty. Mr. Merkley. Mr. Merkley, guilty. Mr. Moran. Mr. Moran, not guilty. Ms. Murkowski. Ms. Murkowski, guilty. Mr. Murphy. Mr. Murphy, guilty. Mrs. Murray. Mrs. Murray, guilty. Mr. Ossoff. Mr. Ossoff, guilty. Mr. Padilla. Guilty. Mr. Padilla, guilty. Mr. Paul. Not guilty. Mr. Paul, not guilty. Mr. Peters. Guilty. Mr. Peters, guilty. Mr. Portman. Not guilty. Mr. Portman, not guilty. Mr. Reed. Guilty. Mr. Reed, guilty. Mr. Risch. Mr. Risch, not guilty. Mr. Romney. Guilty. Mr. Romney, guilty. Ms. Rosen. Guilty. Ms. Rosen, guilty. Mr. Rounds. Not guilty. Mr. Rounds, not guilty. Mr. Rubio. Not guilty. Mr. Rubio, not guilty. Mr. Sanders. Guilty. Mr. Sanders, guilty. Mr. Sass. Guilty. Mr. Sass. Guilty, Mr. Schatz. Guilty. Mr. Schatz, guilty. Mr. Schumer. Guilty. Mr. Schumer, guilty. Mr. Scott of Florida. Not Mr. Scott of Florida, not guilty. Mr. Scott of South Carolina. Not guilty. Mr. Scott of South Carolina, not guilty. Mrs. Shaheen. Guilty. Mrs. Shaheen, guilty. Mr. Shelby. Not Mr. Shelby. Not guilty. Miss Cinema. Miss Cinema. Guilty. Miss Smith. Miss Smith. Guilty. Miss Stabenow. Miss Stabenow. Guilty. Mr. Sullivan. Mr. Sullivan. Not guilty. Mr. Tester. Mr. Tester. Guilty. Mr. Thune. Mr. Thune. Not guilty. Mr. Tillis. Mr. Tillis, not guilty. Mr. Toomey. Guilty. Mr. Toomey, guilty. Mr. Tuberville. Not guilty. Mr. Tuberville, not guilty. Mr. Van Hollen. Guilty. Mr. Van Hollen, guilty. Mr. Warner. Guilty. Mr. Warner, guilty. Mr. Warnock. Guilty. Mr. Warnock, guilty. Ms. Warren. Guilty. Ms. Warren. Guilty. Mr. Whitehouse. Guilty. Mr. Whitehouse. Guilty. Mr. Wicker. Mr. Wicker. 
not guilty. Mr. Wyden. Mr. Wyden, guilty. Mr. Young. Not guilty. Mr. Young, not guilty. We have these things. Unless you had a script. Handwriting down at the age of fifty seven, the yep. age of forty two. The yeas are 57, the nays are 43, uh, two-thirds of the senators present not having voted guilty. The Senate judges that the respondent, Donald John Trump, former president of the United States, is not guilty as charged in the article of impeachment. The presiding officer directs judgment to be entered in accordance with the judgment of the Senate as follows. The seventh Senate, having tried Donald John Trump, former President of the United States, upon one article of impeachment exhibited against him by the House Representatives <clears throat> and two-thirds of the Senators present, not having found him guilty of the charge contained therein, it is therefore ordered and adjudged that the said Donald John Trump be, and he is hereby acquitted of the charge in said article. 